Hi, in this video, I'm going to show off how Dask can perform very efficient SVD calculations. As a disclaimer, I work for NVIDIA, and we're going to show that this efficiency is, is derived not from running these calculations on lots of CPUs, but running instead on a GPU, and not just a single GPU, but many GPUs. We're going to do this calculation on a DGX2. This is a machine that NVIDIA produces, which has 16 GPUs in a single box. Each GPU is connected to one another through a high-performance, low-latency, high-bandwidth interconnect called the NVLink. We're going to get started by configuring a few things that are required for the client to be exposed to NVLink, and then we're going to create a DAS cluster where each worker on the box is pinned to a particular GPU. On the right, what you'll see here are little blue bars, which will correspond to a CUDA context being created on each GPU. Again, 16 in total. With the cluster up and running, we can create a client. It's, it's going to catch up. And now we're going to create an RMM pool, which is a memory pool on the device. This is going to pre-allocate all the space on each GPU. And this will make sub-allocations very, very fast. What that means is that anytime we allocate any data, like an array or a data frame, they will be those allocations will be very fast, as opposed to having to create, do a CUDA malloc for those that are maybe more familiar with GPUs. Next, we're going to create some random data on the GPU. This should look very familiar to people that are, uh, that are knowledgeable about Dask array. But instead of NumPy arrays, we're creating CuPy arrays. CuPy is very similar to NumPy, except it's going to be on the device. So here we have a 200 gigabyte random array that's supposed to simulate maybe some genomic data of maybe 10 million humans and 20,000 sites, where each bit of that data is a random number between 0 and 3. Um, again, DAS is lazy, so we haven't really created this data quite yet, uh, and we'll do that now. This is roughly going to take around 30 seconds to, to generate this data. And what you see on the upper right is the task stream. So these are all these random, random mints that are getting created on each device distributed throughout our, our space. And you can see a little bit of ticking up here. We didn't allocate quite enough space for all this, but I think we should be okay. And now that we have this random data that's distributed on all these different GPUs, we can just call SVD on that data. Dask has a built-in distributed SVD algorithm. This will take roughly 12 seconds to compute. What you see on the right is instead of all the same color, we'll see lots of different colors. Every color corresponds to a particular task, and the red corresponds to transfers. Again, this took around 12 seconds to compute a 200, an SVD with a 200 gigabyte DASK array. Thanks.